Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. As a part of this chapter, we are proceeding with the next segment now that is 4.2 Dynamic Test Techniques. And as a part of this, we have subsections uh, where are five things to talk about uh, specific to automotive testers dynamic test techniques. That is 4.2.1 talking about the techniques and 4.2 is more about back-to-back -back testing. 4.2 is fault injection testing, 4.2.4, that is uh, requirement-based testing, and 4.2.5, context-dependent selection of test techniques. So of course, we will be getting into the depth of all these things one after the other, but uh, this tutorial, we're getting started with 4.2.1, condition testing, multiple condition testing, and MCDC, which is modified condition decision testing. Well, when it comes to these type of testing techniques, of course, we can talk about these techniques in more detail uh, when it comes to the technical test analysis. But of course, here the approach is not about uh, understanding the technique. It's more about uh, applying them. That's how exactly you can make use of it. And being an automotive tester, you definitely will be making use of these techniques that what exactly condition testing is and how it is different from MCT and MCDC. So, Generally, these are also known as like condition coverage, multiple condition coverage, or modified condition decision coverage. And uh, to know about this, uh, just for your help, instead of making this tutorial longer, I've put a link on the card, I button. You can go to all these tutorials and have a look on clear understanding of these techniques, which will help you to understand in more detail from my technical test analyst tutorial. Plus, when you talk about these uh, Techniques, at any point of time, these are for white box testing techniques from the programming interface. So of course, these will be helpful from the condition or decision outcomes point of view. So in comparison to decision testing in which the tester designs the test cases with regards to the coverage of decision in the code, condition testing refers to the individual condition with a decision. So here, if we talk about an example, if I say I'm using a condition as if, so if may have two different outputs, like true or false, right? Where true is meeting the condition and uh, false is meeting the not meeting the condition. But yes, there are two different decisions which are made from a condition. So if I even test one particular part of it that is true, then I will call it as the condition is tested. But 100% decision is not tested. So these are the slight differences which you can find. And understand more about it but don't forget that in foundation you have already covered these tutorials and understood more about them each decision consists of one or more atomic conditions so if tester executes a test case each of these conditions can be values as true or false the overall value of the decision then results from logical combination of these individual values so now we will be understanding how this combination in short and simple will be used and at the same time how these techniques can help automotive tester well, so here is a table showcasing you the recommendations or the approach which we can apply with help of these techniques in order to have test cases for 100% coverage depending on the test techniques chosen. So if you see this table and just try to understand a little bit here, we have got four test cases here and there are two different conditions like B1 and B2 which are input conditions and uh, we're just trying with several combinations of b1 and b2 where test case one is about true false test case two is false true test case three is true and true and test case four is false and false the outcome based on an and gate if you see b1 and b2 the expressions as an outcome will be only true when both of them are true so of course the tc3 will only be true but all other will be false because it is an and gate and the techniques are referred here as ABC with respect to condition testing as A, multiple condition testing referred as B, and modified condition decision testing is referred as C. So let's understand why B is more recommended, A is less recommended, or how exactly what kind of coverage we will achieve from each one of them. So if you look at the table very clearly here, uh, let's start with the first point that is condition testing. Uh, as technique A in the table shown as here. The tester designs test cases with the objective of covering the true-false outcomes of each individual condition with an unwise choice of test data. 100% condition coverage can be achieved, but not full coverage of the decision outcomes. So, of course, if you see the condition 
combinations can be tested. Like B1 is true, B2 is false, and other way around, B1 is false and B2 is true. So if you have just tried this TC1 and TC2, 100% condition testing can be very well achieved. But you see the drawback or limitations of these techniques. Now let's look at the next one that is multiple condition testing, which is all about the test to design the test cases with the objective of covering all combinations of values related to the individual conditions. So you just see that if the output changes by varying the input. So if you see TC1, B1 is true, B2 is false, outcome is false. Again, we try with different combination like B1 and B2. So all possible combinations will be tested here and you call it as multiple condition testing or multiple condition coverage. When it comes to the third one, that is modified condition decision coverage, referred to as technique C in the table. That is, this is completely similar to multiple condition testing, but we only test when it has an influence on the outcome when the value is being changed and outcome also changes, then only we consider those test cases. For example, the technique only considers the combination in which individual condition B1 or B2 independent influence the decision outcome. In this case of the test case four, changing either B1 or B2 from false to true does not result in change of the outcome because it will always remain the false and B1 and B2 both are same. So no matter whatever you do, it remains the same. So with just three test cases, TC1, TC2, and TC3, you can achieve 100% MCDC coverage. So that's where we are talking about like how exactly these techniques can be helpful and how strong they are in order to compare. And then we can make use of these techniques at any point of time during your testing life cycle in order to support your way of working. So now here, the example shows the limits of techniques, like in case of the condition testing A, despite a condition coverage of 100%, the tester takes the risk of only covering the decision outcomes. A better choice of the test cases would be correct with example of TC3 and TC4. So that's where we talk about the MCT, that is multiple condition testing. So with the use of multiple condition testing, that is technique B, the tester can actually cover all possible inputs and outputs. However, the number of tests to the executed to be executed is the highest for this technique so to a certain extent you do have to consider this is just two inputs what if you have three inputs then two raised to three you will have eight combinations what if we have four inputs then of course you will have more so it will go on and go on and definitely it will have creation of larger tables if you talk about multiple conditions so that time you need to be very smart and by using the modified condition decision testing that is technique C, the tester can achieve a complete coverage of all single conditions and all decisions with a fewer number of tests compared to multiple condition testing. So yes, it can definitely reduce your number of test cases instead of having all the test cases being practiced. So now, as a part of this tutorial, what we have understood is that how these three techniques are being practiced. For more details, you find the link on the i button to understand more about it. But yes, of course, you can understand here that how these techniques are effective when it comes to dynamic testing to apply or derive test cases and have a better coverage at any point of time. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.